Okay, some people ask me what I use when I'm running, and this is the app that I uploaded or downloaded on my phone. It's uh, the Nike Plus Run Club. I'm going to show you how it works. I've already um, downloaded it. It says that I have to update it, but I haven't. So, let's see. To start off, you if you want to run just a regular run, you're just going to press basic. If you're running for a distance and they want you to count, if you wanted to count down, you can edit it. Say you want to put 50 miles, 5 miles, and set it. Um, duration, you know, you can go as long as you want. And then if you want, you could set the speed. But I always just put basic. Um, on the bottom, it tells you your achievements. So if you've done a uh, your farthest run you've done, your longest run, say the longest run that I've done so far was an hour and 26 minutes. Um, and then, obviously, I haven't done a marathon, so they didn't do that. So then it also keeps track of, on the top, it says your history. So say last month I just really started to run. So let's scroll down to July. I had eight runs. Um, and you can see that I did that many miles. I can't really see. 1209 um, in mileage. I did 27 miles. Um, and then it'll tell you the dates and what you ran, which is really interesting because you could keep track of a lot of things with this data. So let's go up to today, um, Thursday. So let's press Thursday morning. And so I did four miles. The interesting part of this, you can see that I did four miles in 40 minutes and 53 seconds. I did a lot of hills. And it'll tell you how you did the hill. So let's go to view details and splits. We're going to press that. So if I wanted to zoom in, it can tell me exactly what street that I was on when I did that mile, which is really cool because sometimes you're trying to track um, you know, you want to do two miles and you're tracking, okay, I'm going to, I only have to run to this street or whatever. Um, and then if you come over here, it tells you exactly how many miles. So you just scroll your finger across the bottom. Now, another thing that you can do is your pace. So say the first five minutes, this is your pace, right, at five minutes. The good thing is, if you see the blue, that's your elevation. So if you were going up hills, you could see what your pace is. Actually, I was starting to go uphill, and look how my pace went down, 12, 13. So it'll tell you your elevation and um, with the blue, and it'll give you what your pace was when you're going up and down these hills. Another thing it does is your split. So it tells you if you went up or if you went down in your time. So here I only did four miles and I did, you know, my time always increased, which was good. So if I did, if I go back and say Saturday I did an eight mile. All right. Um, let's go view details and splits. Okay, this was my track and then I went to my splits and if you notice mile five six and seven I got pretty slow which is you know when you're training it's good to look at saying okay I, I gotta really like pace myself mile five I gotta keep my pace so it's a good thing to to know um, so this is the Nike Plus app I really like it um, it's got a couple other features. If you want, like, coaching, it'll do a coaching section for you. Up top, where the uh, runner, it put on the bottom, you press the runner, and it says, my coach. And, you know, it'll tell you if you want to do a plan. Um, like, say you want to run a half marathon. 
it'll do um, a half marathon plan for you set for every day or your rest days. Um, I have my own plan, so I'm not using that. But I know people that have used it, and they actually like it. So that is that. And like I said, the Nike Plus app, really good. Um, Nike Plus Run Club. So check it out.